Open your book to page 285. This is lesson 10.3. This lesson is on mixture problem. Mixture problem is when you have like uh, two or more items and you're mixing together and you try to figure out uh, the cost and, and like a amount. And so for this one, what you want to do is you want to make a table. Okay? So it will help you to organize your data. So what you do is you're going to make a table. Normally it's four by four. So, so the way to make a table is you divide into half and divide into half again. That's how you get four by four. Okay? Now normally what you want to do, you, you put a names across this way. Okay? So name of I'm across this way. And the formula, the formula going this way. Okay? So for the mixture, so when you're doing a mixture, right? So what you want to do is you're going to have the first item and you're going to have the second item and over here it's going to get mixed and, and on the vertical column the formula is going to be C A T okay, so the C is for the cost okay. and A is for the amount and T is like the, the total price okay, the subtotal okay. and to help you to memorize this is I think about cat mix, right? So in your mind, picture a cat sitting and eating the cat, you know, the, the, the dry food, the cat food. So it help you to memorize cat mix, right? Cat mix. Okay, so it help you to memorize what goes on here. So you can imagine there's a cat sitting over there eating the, the you know, the, the cat food, okay? Cat mix, okay? So that's how, you, that's how you help you to memorize it. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go to example one. So when you're doing the problem, first you have to read through, okay? And so if you look at example one, okay, if you look at example one, it says a whole set of makeup of 60 pounds mixture. So right away you know that this is a mixture problem, okay? And it, it, it mixing two kinds of coffee, right? A and B, right? So you can right away, so what you want to do is go and make a table. So let's go and make the table. And, and after that, you fill in the blanks. So again, when you make the table, right? This is how you make the table. Draw a rectangle and you cut in half, right? And you cut in half again, cut in half. This one you do the same thing, you cut in half, cut in half, cut in half, right? Again, the name of the item goes on top. So it tells you there are two different coffees, right? You have the brand A and brand B, right? And you have the mix. The mix always go in the back. The mix is always on the back. Okay, again, so here's C, A, T, okay? Now let's go and read. It says a whole set of mix up a 60 pounds of mixture. Okay, so if you go over here, so it tells you that 60 pounds mixture. So that's amount for mixture. Okay, so that means the mix amount would be 60, right? Again, A is amount, how many pounds, you know, how, how much, uh, how many ounces and so forth, right? So again, amount, okay, so A is for the amount. So amount for the mix is 60. Okay, now let's go continue on. It says brand A costs $3. So brand A, so A, the, the C is the cost. So brand A costs three dollars. So three goes over here, okay. And B costs six dollars per pound, okay. So when you see the, so whenever you see the word per, it goes on this row, okay. Okay, when you see like how much per, you know, price per pound. So when you see the word per, it goes on this this, this row over here, okay. Amount goes over here. Like how many pounds, or how many ounces goes over here. And this is when you multiply together. Okay, so it says how many pounds? So over here, so you go back over here and you see over here. So it says how many pounds of each kind? So you don't know, so you, when you don't know, you, you call it you know, A and B, right? Use variable, right? So you don't know how much for A, so use A, you know, letter A for the, the, the brain A, use letter B for brain B. So again, you don't know, so you don't know how, how many pounds, so you use the variable, right? Okay, and continue to read. The next information, it says how many pounds of each kind must be used if the mixture is cost five dollars per pound. Again, so if you look over here, so mixture five per pound. Okay, so you have to know where this goes, right? So five dollars is for the mixture and it's for per pound, okay? So that means, so five goes over here, right? Five is for the mixture and for per pound. And one thing you're gonna notice that 
That the middle, see these number, these three numbers over here, the three numbers, the middle number always in the mix. So this is always the middle number, no exception. Okay. So a higher number and lower number always goes over here. The middle number always go to the mix. Okay. So again, the middle number is always over here. Okay. So after that, you just go and multiply. Right. You're going to get three a. And this will be six b. You always multiply down. And you go and you add across, right? So six times b, right? Because there are six pounds, and that's how much it costs. You multiply, right? Like over here, okay? The five dollars per pound, and there are sixty pounds. So you multiply, you get three hundred. Okay. Now, whenever you see a variable across, that's that. That would be an equation. So from here, you're gonna have a one equation. You're gonna have a plus b equal to sixty pounds. So. So this is how many pounds in A, how many pounds for B, and total would be the mixture would be 60 pounds. Over here, again, whatever you see, just go and that's your equation. So again, that's your equation, okay? So that's your equation. So you got 3A plus 6B equal to 300. So now to solve, all you have to do is just, you, you just learn that, right? You go and make one of the variable opposite. So I'm going to make the A opposite, okay? It's always a good idea to make the lower number opposite, so you don't have to end up with negatives. So I'm going to multiply this by negative three, right, to make this opposite. So it'd be minus three a, minus three b, equal to negative one eighty. I'm going to put this down here. So minus three a, minus three b, equal to negative one eighty. And when you add, cancel out, right? So you got three b, equal to one twenty. Divide by three, divide by three, so B equal to 40 pounds. Okay, make sure you remember your label. And then once you find B, you can go back to any equation. I'm going to use this one, that's the easiest one to use. Okay, so I'm going to use the A plus B equal to 60. So again, when you substitute, you put in parentheses, right? So minus 40, minus 40, so you got A equal to 20 pounds. Okay, and that's it. So 20 and 40. Okay, let's continue. Let's go, let's go to the next example. Let's go to example two. Okay, so you can read the problem. So a farmer wants to mix, right? So right away, you see the word mix? So right away, you know it's a mixture problem, right? Okay, so make sure problem, so right away, you don't even have to think, it should become automatic, right? So draw a rectangle, cut in half, cut in half, cut in half. Over here, cut in half, cut in half, cut in half. And again, this is C-A-T, right? And this is the mix, okay? Okay, so what are we mixing? Okay, it tells you that there are soybean and corn, okay? So again, you have to get the names of a cross, right? So this is uh, the soybeans, and these are corns. Now you can just use S or you can use C, okay, so that's okay. Okay, now let's go and start to read and, and fill in the blanks. Again, okay, make, sure make sure you follow item by item, right? Okay, so, so it says farmer want to mix 10 bushel of soybean, okay, so 10 is soybean, so that's over here, right? Ten soybeans. That cost seven fifty. So soybean cost seven fifty. Okay. With corn costing, so corn is six dollars per, per bushel. Okay. So corn six bushel. How many bushel of corn? So that's what you don't know. So that's C, right? I'm using C for corn. Okay. Must use to make a mixture consists of seven twenty-five per pound. Again, remember what I said, right? The middle number always go over here. See that? Right? This is mid. This is the middle number between the two, right? Okay. So you, you're gonna get high number and low number over here. The middle number is always go over here. Okay. So that's all the information that you have. So in this case, what you need to do is when you mix, you mixing this together, right? So when you mix, you add it, right? When you when you mix, you, you you're mixing things, so you have to add together. So so you always add across. So this is 10 plus C, okay? So again, you always add across, you multiply, right? So it's 750 per, per bushel, and there are 10 of them, so you times, you get 75. There are six, 
uh, six out of per bushel, and there are this many, so times you get 60. Now, this one over here, again, you have to multiply, you have to distribute, right? So I need more, I need to make a square bigger. It's okay to make it like that, that's fine. So when you multiply, so when you multiply this, you get 72.5. This multiply, you get plus 7.25c, okay? Okay, so now, again, you go across. That's your, that's your equation you need to, to have to solve. So you're going to get 75 plus 6c. Now you see this over here? That's your equal, okay? See this over here? That's your equal sign over here. We go to 72.5 plus 7.25c. Okay, now to solve, I'm going to move the c to this side. So I'm going to minus 6c. So minus 6c, again, none of everything. So you got 75 equal to 72.5 plus 1.25c. Then after that, you're going to move the number to this side, so minus 72.5, minus 72.5. And you, you're allowed to use calculator, so you subtract, you get 2.5 equal to 1.25c. Then after that, you divide by 1.25, divide by 1.25, so this cancel out. So c equal to, in this case, you're going to get 2. And the label will be bushels. So I'm going to use B, U. Okay, 2 bushels. Okay, and that's it for example 2. Okay, now let's go to example 3. Example 3 deal with money, so this is it's going to be a little bit different type of, of uh, table. So for money, so on page 287, Example three. So for money, right? So you, what you do is when you make the table, right? So this one, you're gonna have more than one column possible, okay? So again, name goes across, name of the coins, okay? Names goes across this way. And this this gonna be the, um, the value. So this gonna be value. And this is going to be the number, okay? How many, right? A month, right? So this is going to be a month, okay? And this is going to be total. So instead of CAT, it's going to be VAT, okay? Okay, so again, value is, is how many cents, right? So let's go over example. So you can better understand what's going on. Okay, so example three. It says, Tanya has a three Three dollar twenty cents in nickels, times and quarters. Okay, and then so there are all these things, right? So let's go ahead and make the table. You know, it's it's, it's money, right? So when you make the table, so this one you can cut across like that. Okay, so read first. So these are three kind of coins. Okay, you have nickels, you have the dime, and you have the quarter. Okay. And this is the mix. Okay, again, mix always goes to the back. Okay, so again, name of the item always over here. So this is kind of similar to the mixture problem, but instead of mixing food and mixing mixing other stuff, right now you're mixing coins. Okay, but the same same idea. So there will be the value amount, the total value, right? Okay, so value is very easy because what is the value of a nickel? Well, five cents, right? A nickel is worth five, right? So value is five cents. Okay, how about time? What's the value of time? Ten cents, right? So it's ten. Okay? And the quarter, what's the value of the quarter? Twenty-five, right? Okay. So this one you don't need this value, okay? Because this does not make sense. Okay, now let's go and read amount. Okay. It says there are seven more times than quarters. So what you want to do, you want to use quarter as as your reference. So amount, how many, right? So amount is how many, so that's going to call it Q. So it says, so under the time, right? So when, whenever you have, whenever you have this kind of translation, what you do is you move the first item to the beginning, okay? So over here, you see there are seven more times in quarter. What you do is you move the time to beginning, so it becomes, so to rephrase this, it will, it will become, Times is, right? Again, if you move this to the beginning, so, well, actually, R, right? So you move this to the beginning. So times are seven more than quarters. That's how you translate, okay? Again, move the first item to the beginning. So you can move this over here. 
So times are seven more than quarters. Okay. So you go over here. So times is seven more than quarters, right? Again, time times are seven more than quarters. Okay. And you go to the nickels. Okay. So now look at the nickels. Next one. Again, remember what I said, right? The way to translate this, you move the first item to the beginning, right? So nickels, so nickels are three times as many as quarters, right? You can move the first item to the very beginning. So nickels, so you move this to the beginning, right? So it becomes, so move the nickels to the beginning. So nickels are three times as many as quarters, okay? So nickels are three times as many as quarters. Okay. And then you have to go back to this one over here. See this over here? It says Tanya has 3,020 cents for this whole thing. So 3,020 cents is the whole thing. Now because you're using cents over here, right? So the 3,020 cents will become 320 cents. So that will go to over here. This is the total for the mix. So when you mix all the coins together, there's a total worth, okay? So total value. So the total of everything will go on this corner over here. So now all you have to do is just go ahead and multiply it down, right? So this will give you 15Q. This will give you 70 plus 10Q. Now make sure you make your table big so you have room to write all these things, okay? And this will be 25Q. So now you go ahead and, go ahead and write your equation. So you got 15Q plus 70 plus 10Q plus 25Q will equal to 320. Now remember, again, you have to make it into cents, right? Because these are cents. So you have to make them all match, right? See, these are cents. So you have to make them all cents to, to make sense, right? Okay, so since, okay, so let's get rid of parentheses, right? So you got 15Q plus 70 plus 10Q plus 25Q equal to 320. Let's combine the like terms. So this one, this one, and this one. So this will give you uh, 50Q. Right? So right now, all you have to just solve it, right? So minus 70, minus 70. So you got 50Q equal to 250. So divide by 50, divide by 50. So Q equal to 5. So once you find Q, you have to go back and look for the N and the D, right? And it tells you right over here. So over here, N equal to 3Q, right? See over here? N is 3Q. So it would be 3 times. So N equal to 3Q. So N equal to 3, parentheses 5. So N equal to 15. You box that, right? And you go over here. It tells you over here, right? See over here? So D is equal to 7 plus Q. See over here? So D is 7 plus Q. So you have to use this information over here. So D equal to 7 plus 5. So D equal to 12. Okay, and, and then that's it. So again, when you, when you make the table, it helps you to organize your information and there's your equation over here. And from there, you just go and solve. And once you solve for one of the variable, you can go back and, and, and solve the other two.